They are met in ten men that were rapers, which stood afar off, as they lifted up their voices and said, and said, Jesus, Master, hear, have mercy on us. And he, when he showed them, he said unto them, Go show, show yourself unto the priests. And it came to pass that they went and they were cleansed. And one of them, when he saw, he was healed, turned back, and with a loud uh, voice glorified God, and fell down on his face, feet at his uh, face at his feet, giving him thanks. And he was a Samaritan. And Jesus answering said, "Were well, there not ten cleansed? But uh, where are the nine? They are not found that return to give glory to God, save this stranger. And he said unto him, Arise, go thy way, thy faith has made thee whole. And this is the gospel of Christ. testimony from our pastor here 
um, uh, um, the, the minors. This is amazing. And today's topic is about living a life full of thanksgiving and gratitude. Living a life full of thanksgiving and and it, it was prayed a very powerful prayer about being gratitude, uh, being thankful. Kuishi maisha shukurani. You know, I have I, I have realized that uh, life is a matter of thanksgiving. Rastia, uh, in the month of November, I got sick, and I was in the hospital uh, for about um, a week at Coptic. And you know, they were checking uh, the issues of COVID. That time, COVID was uh, on the rise, yeah? And uh, it was terrible being at the hospital that time. Because uh, uh, my oxygen levels were down, uh, my breathing were down, and so they were checking on it. And I, I was isolated. Let me tell you, being isolated is tough. Yes, it is tough. Uh, because even feeding, even when they are coming to feeding you, it is uh, uh, it is a miracle. They come with those uh, PPEs and uh, they look like ghosts, and you're wondering, I, am I a ghost or so? <laughs> um, it is not easy. It is not. It is not a joke. Later, they discovered there was there was no COVID, and they came jumping all over pasta uh, good news. And so they were able to serve me after two, three days. Uh, and so I was relieved. Then I was discharged later. So to me, I don't count even small things for granted. Amen. Even breathing, no worry. Because uh, I was sick. I remember I called uh, uh, my sister asking about Agakandi uh, and whether they are good. But I was. I was so down. I went there, I went at AR, uh, they, they gave me some medicine, then I decided to go to, uh, to Conti. My brothers and my sisters, your life is in the hands of God. And it's good to be grateful for everything in your life. Be grateful for your children, uh, be grateful for your wife. By the way, I'm married to Reverend Jane, she served at uh, Bangige. And also, I have three kids, uh, Nyambura and two, two, uh, two twins, twins, yeah, twins, yeah, uh, three years, uh, Philip and Emanuela. So, having a family, having a church like this, having an artist called your pastor who loves you, who can walk with you even this time, it's amazing. Having a job that uh, you have, having friends that you can talk to, you need to be grateful. You need to live a life of being grateful, a life of thanksgiving. And one of the things that I've discovered, thanksgiving is a mindset, is how you set your life to be. It's a lifestyle. You can choose the opposite of being a person who complains, a person who doesn't say things. Yes. As I, as I told you, when I, I was coming from a, um, that church, the St. Felix, that high church, now I'm coming to a dusty place. Uh, I, I'm meeting some uh, graveyards. In fact, I remember inviting someone in general and was, was asking me, do you share graveyards with the church? I told them, no, 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 those are, those are community graveyards. Yes. When you ask somebody about church, you ask them, you ask them, you ask them, you ask them, Yes. But you have to see things in a different way. You have to see things from a positive side. And so, that's giving is a mindset. That's giving is a lifestyle. You choose to be somebody who is thankful. And let me tell you, thus people who are who are full of thanksgiving, they attract people to themselves. Have you read the race? If you are a complainer, people will run away from you, even from your businesses. 
Me, I love being served by people who are, who are thankful. Even the Empesa guys, because sometimes they are rude. I don't know why Empesa guys are rude. Do they think they give us the money? Or do they have an Empesa guy here? They, they don't, sometimes they don't appreciate we are doing business with them. If you're in Empress or any other business, try to smile. Hello? Try to try to give people that um, appreciation. And let people appreciate whatever you are in your career, whether a doctor, whether a nurse, whether in business, appreciate other. Amen. Do you, have you ever recognized in church, we recognize you a lot? Since we came, uh, uh, we have been praying together with you. We have stand together with you. So when you go to all your businesses, when you go out there, be a person who appreciates. Be a person who is full of joy, full of life. And your life will never be the same again. Amen? It acts your life that's given. A life of gratitude. You live a fulfilled life. It increases your productivity if you are thankful. Even to your family, it increases productivity. It, you can sleep better and you become a happier person. Do you know that some people who don't sleep? Ask your neighbor who sleep. And then when you go to to bed, you sleep. Hey, am, am I talking to somebody here? Yeah. Yes. When you go to bed, sleep. Yes. I know God speaks to us through uh, sleep, through dreams, through visions. So appreciate that time. But there's some of us who they're not happy at all. When you live a life full of gratitude, you love others. You forgive them. You even serve other people better, as like I said before. So, it's a matter of changing your attitude. You see the good thing of others. But if you don't, then you see things not in a godly way. You know God appreciates. He says that we are fearfully and wonderfully made in the image of God. He appreciates our life. When you live a life of thanksgiving, you appreciate life. Gratitude is not opposite of minus problems, my friends. We have many problems. The Bible says in the book of Psalms 34, that a righteous man may have many troubles. But God shall deliver him from them all, as we heard our sister pastor say it or testify it. Life is full of challenges. Even my life, even your life, there are many things that we pass through. But you can appreciate those things. Praise the name of the Lord. You can just thank God for that sickness. You can just thank God because of that broken marriage, that broken issues that are, you, you, are, you are passing through, that God shall make them through. Even that business that is crumbling, thank God for it, that God shall make it rise again in the name of Jesus. Amen. It's not defined by money or wealth. I know you love to be wealthy. Even for me, I love to be wealthy and rich. But wealth and riches alone, they are not, they don't, they don't give you joy. Amen. You have to purpose in your life to be joyful, to be thankful. And you know when you are thankful, then you can give even your money. Do you know there's a people who come friends when they hear there's a fan raising? They say, hey, quality of our country makes you sana. To make you sana. But we, that person who is so thankful that this 
is my opportunity to finish this church. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Come here, Papa. Amen. Yeah, say a bigger amen. Amen. I know you are a child that is living. David, when he was tasked, when he was faced by this challenge of Goliath, it was a real challenge. David, in First Samuel chapter 17, he was faced by this Goliath. That situation that seemed like Goliath in your life, it didn't detune him and the whole of Israel for 40 days. This glory to that stood every every time, declared himself mighty. But let me tell you, God is mightier. Amen. God is greater than our problems. God knows our issues of life. He is that great God and Supreme Father, that gracious Lord that He loves us, He cares for us. He thinks well of our life. My brothers and my sisters, nothing is impossible with our God. He cares for you. He shall lift you up. He shall give you a reason to smile. A reason to live again. You are better. Your tomorrow is better than today. Your better days are coming. Amen. Tell your neighbor, your better days are coming. It doesn't matter your age, maybe for God, but let me tell you, better days are coming. Maybe not through you, but through your family. Through your children, through your grandchildren, your better days are coming. Amen. And you will not regret serving God. I know you have served Him for many years. You have been here for many years. You, you built this church. I remember I was confirmed here in 1990. This church was the talk of the day that time. It looked beautiful. Now it's aging. We need a new sanctuary. Praise the name of the Lord. But every time you have done a lot for the Lord, He shall do it for you. He is a great God. He opens doors. He opens ways even where there seems to be no way. Because He's a living God. He's our hero. He's Jehovah Jireh. Or Jehovah Rapha. Who heals our sicknesses. He shall lift you up, my brother and my sister, from your condition. It doesn't matter your condition. It doesn't matter many years you have waited for the Lord. He cares. He shall give you whatever you need. For His Lord God is just. Is a just God. Amen. Kata kwa chiria. Na kina kata kuinua katika hali yako kwa mana ni mungu maema. When David was faced by that challenge, he remember the victories of the past. Amen. Remember the victories that God has given him in the past. Remember how God has healed you. In that situation that you are in. Maybe you racked finances and God opened that door for you. And now you are counting money in billions. Is that not wonderful to remain, to remain, to remain God? That the God of mountain, the God who did for you, He can do it for you even today. Amen. How many of you with me that God shall do it for you? And God is doing for us in Jesus' name. This church is stepping to greater areas in the name of the Lord. You are stepping to greatness in the name of the Lord. I call you great. I call you wonderful. I call you a victorious in the name of the Lord. I call you favored of the Lord. Amen. You people, you are blessed of God in Jesus' name. And you are stepping to your greatness. Let me tell you, when you are stepping to that church, after the opening, great things are going to happen. People are going to feel this praise with joy, with celebration, with amazement of what God can do in the name of Jesus. You know, I've been reading the social media saying people are not coming to church. I tell them, no, no, no. In my spirit, people are coming back to church in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. The devil doesn't write Christians who give thanks, who appreciate life. He wants to put them down. My brothers, appreciate life the way you are. Whether you live in that mad house, whether you live in that uh, big house, appreciate life. Appreciate the environment. I was telling the first service. Here in God, we have an amazing environment. We have an amazing terrain. We are surrounded by the hills, by the forest. People come from everywhere to come and uh, see this place. Appreciate this place. Thank God because we have our family joining us. 
from the South Bay. These are our wonderful place to be. These are a home that uh, we desire to be in the name of Jesus. Amen. We are blessed. Are we not blessed? Are we not blessed? We are blessed in Jesus' name. First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 16 and 18. Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's wish for you. In every circumstance, Paul said, Give thanks. Are you not predicament in your life? Give thanks for it, because God is opening a door for you. Amen. Give thanks in the Lord. Don't find the devil in it. Give thanks. You know, I know we are discussing our uh, people some other times. People are counting their demons and demons and demons as we are counting blessings. Amen. What do you see? Do you see a demon or a blessing? As we are demon, do you see a demon or a blessing? Yes. Yes. A blessing. You see a door being opened. When you are being tried and tested, know that uh, you are moving to another level of faith. Amen. You are that gold, you are that gem. When you are tried, when you are tossed here, uh, before and uh, up and down. Let me tell you, because you are sons and daughters of the living God, and you're going to be victorious in Jesus' name. And you're stepping towards your greatness. I feel that I'm stepping to my greatness. How many people are stepping to their greatness in Jesus' name? We have that greatness, courage is coming. It is coming in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Living a positive life, it increases your success. I call you success, you people. You are successful. Hey, do you think it's a job? Building such a, a, a church. Do you think it's a job? You are great. Amen. Amen. Let me tell you, even if you have not built yours, now your yours is coming. Amen. Amen. Yes. By just building this. You know God is happy when you see some such things. He is happy. He is going, you are going to build your own empire because of such wonderful things. We read about the temple of Solomon. We read, we read about the, the word of Nehemiah. And this are written where? This shall be written in heaven. Amen. Amen. My brother, you know, you, are, you are my chairman back those days. We are in the same youth, although it was a bit elderly, in the same gong as the gong parish. And we walked a, a journey of faith. And now you are, you, you are taking these people together and taking them to another level. This is amazing. In my generation, this it shall be written in heaven. Amen. And I tell your neighbor, it shall be written in heaven. You see, if you know, it shall be written in heaven. Amen. Amen. It shall be written in heaven. May God give you success in whatever you do. May God give you success in your family. May the Lord be with you. May the Lord lift you up in Jesus' name. May God change your narrative. May God change your story. Amen. I believe stories have been changed here. Might have been changed. I have a testimony. God can change your story. Amen. Yes, he can change your story. He is a, change, a story changer. Amen. He is a story changer. If he changed the story of Hannah, he can change your story. Hallelujah. If he changed the story of Paul from Saul, he can change your story. He is changing story. He is a changer story. He gives a new story. He is opening a new book for you in the name of Jesus. Amen. He's changing a book for you. And you preach in your life. is being risen in the name of Jesus. You know, on Sunday, one of us was telling about us about changing our names. And I believe my church at St. Peter's, God is changing it. Amen. No, I told someone, I'm coming to that church. And he said, hey, you better, you, you, you better, you better, you could have better been given maybe a, a position of a curate somewhere. Rather than coming there, I say, no, I have to change the story. God changes story in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. There shall be overflow. And when you go, when you go there, 
msitosheke na story hii take it to another level amen you know maybe this my last time I'm preaching in this old church maybe I'll preach the new, uh, in the new church if I'm invited I know you should invite me at amen <laughs> so when you go there and you are few can you feel the church with your praise with good things with you know I know I tell Christians if you want to feel your church not the article not me but you talk well about your church. Amen. Tell your neighbor, talk well about your church. Yes. Tell them, this is the most beautiful church, not only in Bong, not in the county of Nigeria, but in the whole of the republic. And they shall come to see that church. And they will be born again in that church. And they never leave that church in Jesus' name. Amen. Come up to your blessing. Name them one by one. It shall surprise you what God has done in your life. Do you count your blessings? Do you write a book? Psalms 103 was read to us. He shall renew your strength. The Lord who heals your sicknesses. The Lord who forgives your sins. The Lord who has done great things to you. You know, Psalms 103 is full of complaints and many sad things. But Psalms 103 and it changes. David counts his blessings. He says about God of mercy from everlasting to everlasting. Amen. The Lord shall renew your strength. Isaiah 40 verse 31 after you say the words of thanksgiving. As I finish up, Luke chapter, Luke chapter 17 verse 11. I read it. These ten rappers, it amazes me that only one of them came to say thank you to Jesus. <laughs> the rest nine, I don't know what happened to them. They thought this is just our right. Cultivate in you a culture of thanksgiving. We have been shown by those four families that came here. Can they choose a Sunday for yourself to come with your family and give thanks? Amen. Sing new songs in your family. Call them to a holy assembly. Sing a song together with them. Remind them about the goodness of God that He has done to you as a family. Just remind them. And when this one rapper who was a Samaritan came to Jesus, he worshipped under his feet. You know, thus giving and a heart of gratitude brings us to worship. If you want to become a good worshiper, then be full of thanksgiving. I know, praise and worship team, I know you are full of thanksgiving. Because if you are not full of thanksgiving, you would take us to worship. Choir, be full of thanksgiving. Whatever you are. Even if your life is sore, even if your life is so difficult, be a man. A woman of thanksgiving. Because you normally take us to worship the name of the Lord. This rapper, one of them came and worshipped at the feet of Jesus. And his life was made whole. The Father Bible says, go because your faith has made you whole. The rest were not made whole. The rest were not forgiven from their hearts. But this one man, because of that act of thanksgiving, that act of worship, then his life was changed. My brothers and my sisters, I want to ask you, be a person who is full of thanksgiving in your heart. Be a person who is full of uh, faith and be a person who is full of appreciation of what God has done to your life in Jesus' holy name. Shall we stand in the name of Jesus? Amen. Okay, I'll take on for a minute to give us an opportunity to say thank you. I mean, sometimes lift up, lifting up our hands is difficult, but you shall lift your hands. Amen? Let me just sing this song. Apastuae Bahari. I tell you, where are the Mongo? Who is the Kosa Jam at a Moja Kumabia Mumia Sati? 
Najua una una una, una mambo mengi. Najua kama una shida tofauti na kusumbua. Pengeza kifedha sijui za kuachwa, sijui na nza nini. Lakini hauwezi kukosa jambo moja ambalo utamwambia Mungu ni asante. I, I was I, I was talking with another sister not from my church, not from our church, but she her heart is too discouraged because of what they just passed through because of her husband and because of her family. She decided to quit. She was saying, no, he must die. And, but she said, at least she died because she has two sons. Then I said to her, he said because of these two sons. Amen. And I believe if she start giving thanks because of these two sons, she not see those insults being uh, given to her by that family. Uh, she will see the blessing. So if even for you, can you start giving thanks for that situation? Then your life will change. Amen. Amen. And not only for now, can you start worshiping God whenever you are give thanks and you see you'll be a different person in the name of Jesus. Blessings shall locate you. Say amen. amen. Favor shall locate you. Amen. Because favor likes somebody who is attractive. Somebody who is full of thanks. But if you're a complainer like Esau, then favor will dislocate you. But if you are like Abel who give the best, then favor shall locate you. And my Prayer is to you, my brothers and my sisters, whom I love so much, be a person who is full of thanksgiving in Jesus' name. And your life will never be the same again. Amen. Thank you.